everybody. I'm here to have a little chat with y'all um, over something that happened. So um, the happening that happened was that I had a dream. And <clears throat> the reason this is sort of something important to for me to want to share with y'all is because prior to me losing my, you know, my sense of self, that realization of something that was seen, um, I was always a dreamer. Like I had a lot of dreams at night when I slept. Um, usually they were positive dreams. I didn't have very many nightmares, but I definitely was dreaming a few times a week. And then after that sense of self fell, I stopped dreaming altogether. And I was also in that stage where I was, wasn't understanding what was happening to me. So that was another thing I kind of Googled online and tried to figure out like, is this something that happens? I was trying to gain some context as to what was normal and, you know, what was this? And I did find that people, for a lot of people did uh, report not dreaming after such an experience. Um, but anyhow, um, just yesterday I had a dream and it was like my old dreams, just something kind of like mundane and um, not anything scary, just everyday stuff like I used to dream. So I had a dream. And I was pleasantly surprised. I was like, wow, okay, I guess, you know, I can dream. And, and, and I know it sounds silly, but it was uh, something very noticeable to me when I stopped dreaming because it was something that would usually happen. So that's why I bring it up. And <clears throat> it doesn't seem to be something that happens across the board or anything like that, but um, it was something that was was nice because I think it's been... It'll be a year in May since I've had this this seeing, and it, this is the first dream that I've had. So in almost a year, just this one dream, whereas before I would dream um, several times a week. Anyway, um, I think that's all I wanted to share, but since we're on the topic of dreams, we'll just kind of discuss that and see um, where that goes. So one thing about dreams is... My dreams are pretty mundane. They're not that exciting or scary. But there's either, you know, people dream wonderful dreams that they don't want to wake up from. And then they have nightmares that they just want to get out of. So um, that's kind of like our reality. And, you know, some of us are dreaming here on Earth um, lives that are wonderful and great. And then some of us are in real struggles. And it's it's a nightmare so we can even see that here in our experience that we're currently having and it the same sort of thing can occur in dreams so there's also this realization that first of all I realized there's no one so it the concept of a dream and that's all it is is a concept it's it's really pointing towards what actually happens like when you have a dream you may dream that you're um, doing something in that dream <clears throat> let's say you have a dream that you're an actress and you're on stage winning a Grammy Award or something and then you wake up from that dream <clears throat> you're like yeah that was me I was in this dream I was dreaming that I was um, winning this award and then but you realize oh but it was just a dream because that wasn't really you you know, but when you're in that dream, it feels like it. Sometimes you even want to go back to that dream. You're like, oh, I wish I could go back to that dream. It just felt so amazing. So same thing is happening here in our reality. There's no one here in this body. There's no one here. There's no one there. Whoever is watching this, there's no one there in your body. It's the same as me. I've just seen something. I've had this apparent thing that happened but doesn't even really exist it's like the dream and I say it doesn't exist because nothing that's happening here exists this video doesn't exist just like in a dream when you wake up, up out of the dream you realize that none of that was real it was just happening in your head or wherever dreams happen so we've never really even there's no us nobody's gone to sleep woken up nothing it's just a dream everything's just a dream there's no one here so when this dream ends and we go into the sleeping dream now we're in that dream and we can feel things in that dream 
We can even perceive time in the dream. We can perceive pain. Everything that we're actually perceiving here in our experience, we can actually perceive that in a dream. So, are, are you in a dream now? I mean, you know, these are questions and things to contemplate. And to tie it to the twin flame thing, um, when you're with your twin flame, you feel like you are in a dream. You're so in love. You're having so much fun. You know, that's the dream. And it's like a happy dream that you don't want to wake up from. And let's say that you're in separation or your twin flame leaves. Or like in my case, my twin flame died. You just really want to go back to that dream. And so it can kind of be seen like a dream as well, being with your twin flame. And then when everything is really seen, that there is no self, you realize that that literally was a dream. Being with your twin flame is literally a dream. They're not real. You're not real. Nothing is really happening. That is seen. Okay, so I just wanted to share that little bit with you. And I will be making a video um, going back to my book this weekend. Um, so I think we're on part 10 or so. Okay, thank you for watching.